In the past, people spread scary video game urban legends by word of mouth. Today, however, the internet has increased this tenfold. With just a few clicks, we can spread information all across the world, making the internet a virtual campfire for all kinds of spooky stories. If you grew up in a time before the net, you may remember swapping stories of game exploits or secrets no one could prove existed. Some were pretty innocent. I still want to believe there's a way to play as Master Hand in the original Super Smash Bros. I actually didn't write this, but that does actually sound pretty cool. However, some of the legends had a dark undertone. The internet propelled, expanded, and created these myths like the world's most terrifying game of telephone. It's never smart to believe everything you watch or hear, but with this many myths, a few are bound to be true. So, if you like gaming and don't want to sleep tonight, enjoy these 25 scary video game urban legends. I'm Tristan with List 25. Theme song. Twenty-five. Berserk is an arcade game that had players navigate to a near endless amount of mazes shooting yellow alien antagonists. Legends claim a number of healthy players who achieved a high score dropped dead directly after walking away from the machine. Although it can be hard to validate urban legends, at least one of these deaths is confirmed to be true. According to the Chicago Tribune, a teenager named Peter Bukowski died of a heart attack inside his local arcade. Twenty-four. A 4chan user claimed to have purchased what he thought was a brand new copy of the N64 classic Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Upon playing the game, he discovered it already had a save file called Ben. The user continued to upload videos of other strange things happening in the game. Distorted music, creepy new dialogue, and empty towns all eventually led to the conclusion that the game was once owned by a boy named Ben who had drowned in a local lake. The person who started posting the story eventually stopped, but the presumably haunted cartridge still exists somewhere. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced the game title. Is it Majora Mask? Mahora Mask? I... I'm not a gamer and I've never played a Legend of Zelda game, so feel free to attack me in the comments. 23. Spoiler alert for anyone still working through the 1999 classic Final Fantasy VIII. The original game was broken up over two discs. The cutscene at the end of the first disc showed the main character Squall being impaled with icicles. However, once players put the second disc in, Squall remarks, no wounds, and the game continues, although the surreal aspects are considerably ramped up. Players concluded that the second half of the game takes place in the afterlife. The developers haven't denied or confirmed anything, but the final shot of the game certainly supports the conclusion that something freaky is happening. 22. One of the most well-known gaming urban legends claims that the NFL players who appear on the cover of the annual entry in the Madden franchise will get injured or underperform in their next season of play. EA, the developers, even felt the need to publicly refute the curse, although it's hard to deny the startling amount of players who have had problems. Plus, we could always use more reasons to hate EA, right? Yeah. Hate EA. EA. Wow, I cannot speak today. We don't like EA. 21. 21. The late 90s were dominated by Pokemon. At least, they were for me. Alex! According to this myth, there was something sinister behind the otherwise lighthearted red and blue entries in the franchise. The music that played in Lavender Town, the in-game location that housed ghost Pokemon, apparently caused Japanese kids to commit suicide. Although none of the stories have been validated, Nintendo did alter the music for American releases of the game. 20. One popular internet story featured a glitched copy of the original Sonic the Hedgehog game, where the main characters had blood pouring from his eyes. The story started to get a bit ridiculous when the writer claimed the fastest mammal in gaming was dragging people into his demonic domain. Independent developers eventually released a real game called Sonic.exe, based on the story filled with unsettling levels and great jump scares. I think it's pronounced dot exe, not dot x. My girlfriend designs games and she says it's dot exe, so I'm gonna go with that. Dot exe. 19. Somehow gamers discovered that if you stand in a specific spot in the game Luigi's Mansion, oh, it's this one, when lightning strikes, a shadow of the titular character appears floating in the air. This has been interpreted as a hint to the true story behind the classic game. Luigi, fed up with being overshadowed by his red-capped brother, hung himself, and is now in the Mario Universe's version of the afterlife. Luigi's better anyways. Fight me. 
Oh yeah, Waluigi is the best. 18. Like many of the spooky legends on this list, this begins with anonymous message board claims. A user claimed to experience strange in-game happenings after modifying the code of the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. The mod turned out to be real. Anyone brave enough can experience the altered game, which causes most of the characters to appear dead while the rest stare blankly into the sky. Even creepier than that, the player's character is followed by a tall, shadowy figure called Assassin. Some players even report seeing this figure in real life after the game was shut off. Ooh. 17. While playing Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo Reach, a number of gamers reported random players showing up midway through their online matches. The new players had no gamertag, couldn't be killed, and seemed to teleport around the map. Whenever these ghosts scored a kill, it was credited to The Guardians. Developers claim these figures were bugs caused by stress on the game engine, but offer few other details. 16. The open world game Fallout 3 contains a number of radio stations players can listen to as they travel through the bombed out game locations. Supposedly, if you murder one of the radio DJs, his channel is taken over by a monotone voice that lists numbers, then switches to Morse code. The cycle repeats at random until people with a lot of time on their hands started looking closer. The numbers turned out to be dates, and the Morse code were phrases to go along with them. When translated, the station gave out the correct dates of the BP oil spill and Gary Coleman's death months before they happened. It also predicted an Oscar for Britney Spears in 2023, so look out for that. 15. In the Shiverburn Galaxy section of Super Mario Galaxy 2, players noticed three wide-eyed silhouettes observing them from around the cliffs around the stage. The game's files list them as Hell Valley Sky Trees, despite the fact that they're clearly not trees. The name is not found anywhere in the game's dialogue, and Nintendo has refused to comment on the figures when questioned. 14. The now famous Legend of Herobrine began when a Minecraft player claimed to see a figure who looked like the default player skin, but without pupils. The figure would build sand pyramids and cut the leaves off trees. More and more players started to come forward, saying they had experienced similar things. The figure always had the name Herobrine above his character model. The creator of the game, Notch, did not address the in-game occurrences, but did say he had a brother named Herobrine who had passed away. This inevitably led to the theory that Herobrine's ghost inhabited the code of his brother's game. 13. The town of Goldshire in World of Warcraft is a pretty traditional town for most of the day. But at 7 a.m., server time every day, a lake house plays host to six creepy children. They stand in a pentagram formation in an upstairs room while the game plays ominous music found nowhere else in the game. Some players even report hearing screams of a disembodied voice saying, you will die. Cool. 12. The Portal game's guide is supposedly just an AI system, but some players noted that the machine looks like a person hanging upside down with their hands tied behind their thighs. To add to the creepiness, hidden audio files in the game point to GLaDOS being based on a former secretary of the game's evil CEO. How much, if any of her, is inside the robot has not been confirmed, so players are left to wonder. 11. Most people know Earthbound from Ness and Lucas in the Super Smash Bros. game. They originally came from the 16-bit RPG, which contains some disturbing visuals in its final boss. For instance, the boss, Gygus, looks somewhat similar to a cervix, and in the final phase, he bears a stringing resemblance to a fetus. Gamers believe this means that the game's child protagonists are performing an abortion. Really? Yes. Really, that's, that's what yeah. we're gonna go to? We're gonna yeah. go straight to abortion? 10. Here's another spoiler alert, in case you don't want to know the ending of the indie platformer, Braid. You play as scientist Tim, searching for a kidnapped princess. Once Tim reaches her though, she's not exactly happy to see him and implies that he's a monster. If players collect seven incredibly difficult to find stars, they change the ending. Unlike the usual ending, Tim can actually touch the princess in the final level, causing flashing and the sound of a bomb going off in the background. This, combined with other clues, suggests that Tim was one of the scientists behind the atomic bomb. He's racked with guilt after it's been dropped, but he can never really change the past. 9. Microsoft XL95 is not that spooky at face value. 
but through certain actions in the program, users could access a first-person game titled The Hall of Tortured Souls. The player could only walk around a few rooms, one of which contained a weird recreation of the Last Supper, with guys in modern clothes. People who stumbled upon the game were pretty creeped out, but it turned out to just be a weird joke created by the original programmers. 8. The original Xbox was a pretty marvelous piece of technology for its time. Owners experienced some strange things with the console, though. If they left the system on the main menu for a while, distorted beeps and whispers emanated from the console. This was especially jarring to users who fell asleep with the system on. Microsoft claimed their public sounds from the Apollo missions, but if you listen to them, it's pretty hard to tell. 7. Kill Switch is allegedly one of the first horror games. In the 8-bit platformer, you play as a woman who wakes up in an abandoned mine. You travel through fighting zombies and demons, desperately trying not to meet the same fate as the former miners. Once players completed the game, the file deleted itself. Since only 5,000 copies were said to be made, the game is now completely gone. Only recreations based on memories and rumors remain. 6. The NES was known for a number of amazing games. Taboo, The Sixth Sense, was not one of them. It was just basically an expensive digital magic 8-ball based on tarot card readings and occult imagery. Unlike a traditional Nintendo product, the game's manual contained warnings like use at your own risk and not for children under 14. Eventually, the game was pulled off the market and rumors started circulating that kids who played the game died in the exact way the game predicted. Most likely, though, the game wasn't selling very well. 5. There is a lot to do in the online classic RuneScape. In the mid-2000s, it was one of the best ways to socialize on the internet. Oftentimes, in the densely populated capital cities, players would openly proclaim things like free armor trimming, follow me. Things got scary when unsuspecting players took them up on the offer. The con men would lead their prey into player versus player areas, kill them, and take all their good items. The urban legend of free armor trimming is unfortunately very personal to the writer of this article. I'm, I'm sorry, Alex. Hope you're... Hope you're doing okay. 4. Before streaming was possible, independent game developers used to meet in person and swap games on floppy disks. One such a game that circulated around the Bay Area was Pale Luna. Players were told at the start of the game that they were in a room with a rope and a shovel. They could then input text describing what they wanted to do to progress the story. Most players found that it was nearly impossible to make anything happen, considered the game to be bugged, and threw it away. One player, however, was determined. After spending days on the game, he found the right words to finish it and was rewarded with coordinates. The legend says that when he traveled to the location, he found the severed, decomposing head of Karen Paulson, an 11-year-old girl who had been missing for over a year. 3. The Twisted Metal franchise was a hit for Sony after the first game. The sixth game in the series, Twisted Metal Harbor City, was being worked on in 2005 when a plane crash caused the death of six developers. They scrapped the game, as only four levels had been completed. Sony felt comfortable with their decision for two years, until they reported that they received a letter urging them to release the four levels. The letter was signed by the six dead game makers. It's entirely possible that it was a sick joke played by a devoted fan, but we can't be sure. Two. A report came out in 2000 that claimed Saddam Hussein had purchased roughly 4,000 PlayStation 2 systems. Rumors quickly started flying, claiming that he was harvesting the CPUs for advanced missile systems. The 32-bit CPUs were cheaper when pulled from the systems, rather than buying them outright. We never found any weapons in Iraq, though. PlayStation-based, or otherwise. 1. According to this urban myth, an arcade game named Polybias was set up in a Portland arcade in 1981. The game was, by all accounts, pretty standard, yet the local kids there were completely addicted. There were long lines whenever their arcade was open. When kids finally stopped playing, they reported feeling anxious and nauseous. Some even reported having nightmares or feeling suicidal. The game was also regularly worked on by men in black suits. The legend states these men perform maintenance on the game much more often than an arcade cabinet traditionally needs. Eventually, the men in black suits removed the game, and populace became convinced it was a government test of mind control device. I'm not superstitious, but I am, I am a little stitious. So, 
What are some of your favorite video game legends? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answers to us at List25. I personally don't play a lot of video games, but I do know how to do some cool stuff on Sly Cooper. Sly 1 through 3. Pretty good at that game. And infamous. I like Sucker Punch games. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com. While you're there, make sure to join our newsletter for exclusive lists, prizes, and so much more. You really don't want to miss out on this.